If we look at the travel speed study, um, very similar in the fact that we are also using downforce pressure on that planting system. However, um, it's only at one application rate and the treatments instead are looking at planting at five, seven, and 10 miles per hour. So if you have tillage to do, if you have fertilizer, fertilizing to do, planting to do, all those things, you only have so many days within that window. And if, one, if we can speed the planter up, hopefully that would maybe free some other days up there. You know, we could plant faster, but we wanna make sure that we have good planting space, we have the proper seed depth, giving them a good opportunity throughout the growing season. It's a normal stock planter. Only addition was we added the electric motor instead of a chain drive. And uh, so it was again, three strips, and we did five replications of this in the field, what we could fit in. 10 mile an hour is too bloody fast. It, my first of all, my guidance system was not cued in very well, and so at 10 miles an hour, it wasn't steering very well, so I had to actually steer it by hand, which I haven't done that in a long time. And uh, definitely was, the 10 mile an hour was beyond the c capacity of the planter. Um, I was getting poor um, singulation. Um, easily could see it from the planter, and as soon as we said to see an emergency, it was definitely proved to get an emergency. We did see some variability within that data and the trends. Five and seven look really pretty good at those speeds. Um, we saw a lot more variability at 10 miles per hour. And so within that, uh, we could see that we had some skips. We had some uh, plots where plants were right next to each other. So the seeds are very, very close to one another. I even found some instances where there were seed on top of the soil surface and driving across the field. And when we took stand counts across the field, you could tell in those plots, it was just, there was a lot more variability. And so I, uh, I love wanted to take some late season stand counts on there. So there are flags throughout the field um, on the exact same plot. So that way I can come back later on in the growing season and find them and count them again. And then we will collect yield data at the end of the growing season to make sure if we can see any uh, statistical differences there. Cause usually that's what the farmers are interested in is their bottom line is the yield.